I'm Adam Green from Avid, and we're here at the Avid booth at IBC 2012, and we're here with Dave Colantoni, Senior Director of Broadcast Storage and Editors. So what, what do we have at the show today? So today we have a bunch of announcements, but I'd love to talk to you about Media Composer 6.5. Um, it's a big announcement for us today. We're introducing Interplay Sphere. It was something we talked about at NAB this year. Interplay Sphere is totally a distributed editing model where you can take your edit directly out of your um, existing infrastructure and go anywhere in the world and edit just as though you were editing right inside your newsroom, for instance. Additionally, we have um, some great support for some standardization that's come about in our industry. ASO2, we're introducing um, some functionality that provides for versioning, which is a great way to um, sort of do multiple versions of your product for multi-language support, for instance. We've also introduced a whole bunch of customer features in this release. Um, in particular, we have better re relinking capabilities. We've done some improvements to phrase find and performance. So if you have the phrase find option, you'll find that working with that, it works much more efficiently than it did in the past. We have some editorial improvements with the way that you can deal with audio keyframing, for instance, and um, just a whole bunch of nice things um, for our product. It's a nice update for us. Great, and I hear through the grapevine there's uh, additional voice count. Uh, That's right, we also introduced 64 voices, so a lot of customers for years have asked us for more capabilities, more voices, um, vo more voice support for audio, and we introduced that too. That's great. Well, there you have it, just a quick wrap for the Media Composer Family 6.5 update here at IBC 2012.